let us mention today in memory of this morning's drive the wonderful name Goiter Carbuncle which is currently topping my list of Twitter handles. Also, you know, on a more serious note, many of you would have seen that we lost the Mungian Mail today. We don't know how. Uh, some of you wouldn't have seen this, but the Mungeni Mail lion was found dead on the southern boundary today. Now we went down and had a look and the Sabi Sands came to have a look and I think they've taken away bits of the body to go and evaluate to see if there was disease. There was no obvious cause of death, there was a puncture wound in the spine but there seemed to be, the spine seemed to be intact and so we don't think there was paralysis there but we're not sure. Theories include that he was hit by a car perhaps and so there were internal injuries that eventually he succumbed to but interestingly he wasn't looking good in fact he was looking pretty ropey while he wasn't in you know his back legs were emaciated and he'd lost a lot of his mane and I thought that was very strange because we in fact we mistook him for the Nkuhuma male almost immediately because he just didn't have the same mane that the Mangen male had and of course lions that are suffering nutritionally will lose their manes from time to time or lose thickness in their manes and his back legs were atrophied slightly it just looked like he hadn't been eating for a while but his stomach was full so he'd obviously just had a meal and we don't so we don't know what happened to him Well, Sarah, this seems to be the theory. As soon as we find an animal and it's dead and we can't find an, an answer, one of the theories leads to either poisoning or venom. I don't think he was poisoned. He's in a reserve. I don't think he would have been poisoned by a poacher in the reserve. There's no point in a poacher coming in here and lacing something with poison, so I don't think it was that. It's not impossible. And so, therefore, could it have been venom from a particularly venomous snake, like a mamba? Possibly. It is possible. They're very fast though, you know. For a leopard or a lion to be bitten by a snake, it's just... It's strange because they are so quick and they know how to handle these snakes. But it's possible. We think it happened to Quatile, the leopardess, a while back. We think she was bitten by a snake and that's what killed her. But no one really knows for sure. Anyway, sad news. But we're used to that out here, aren't we? We're used to sad news when it comes to animals. The dog, they will not leave the rest to the wild. I don't know why they didn't just... They may have taken the whole carcass and then, you know, I think they were sending samples off to be analysed. They will dispose of the body because they don't know if it was a disease. And so they don't want hyenas coming to eat it, they don't want vultures coming to eat it, and so they'll get rid of it. They will not leave the rest of the carcass out, simply because they don't know what killed it. I'm going to take you past the scene of the sadness today. Also, just to say that it was very close to where that dung pile was that I assumed was a lioness going south. I'm still convinced that it was a lioness going south because I got out and foot and checked across the way back up here. There are definitely tracks going up and down this road. So I think there were two lions in the area and definitely that muck that we found had some buffalo skin in it and we certainly didn't see the Mungian male at the kill. Is it possible that he was at the kill? You know, here's a theory for you. When we had the lions at the Galago Pan the first morning, Trish came down Philemon's cut line, Philemon's dip, and she had tracks of a male and a female going south. What about the following, that the female was going off to feed her kids, because we, I think she's had cubs, and what if the male was hurt or damaged during the buffalo hunt and received internal injuries from the hunt or a beating from 
perhaps the evoker males and he came here and succumbed to his injuries. There's a theory for you. That's where he was. He was under that tree. It was a bit shadier, but that's unfortunately the site of where the Mungen male breathed his last. And I really think that it's a particularly tragic story because all three of those Mungen males came through such tragedy. And then two of them died and he survived and it looked like he was going to really make it. And it is, isn't it interesting how with human logic what would have happened with these lions is that the Mungen male and the Nguma male would have formed a coalition. You can imagine human logic being brought to bear in a pride of lions like this where there were two males of similar age, new coalition came in, they probably had to, should move out, had to move out, and they were the same age, no reason they shouldn't have formed a coalition and moved off together, and instead that didn't happen. And of course, it, you know, it's our human logic, lions don't think like that, lions don't think at all along the lines that we think, and so the two lions split up, one of them went down south, the Mungan male stayed up here, for some reason, and that is the tragic end of it. So, so endeth the line of the Mungan males.